I'm going to find out if taking pictures on a digital camera in black and white mode is any different to taking them in colour and just grayscaling them later. Morning everyone. Lovely day, Saturday, no work today, beautiful day, so we're off for a walk down in the beautiful Seven Valley and we've got a pub at the end of the walk, even better. Uh, and what I want to know is if I shoot in colour, if I grayscale that afterwards in post-production, is it any different to me shooting in the camera's own black and white mode? I don't know the answer to that question, so let's, uh, let's get in the car and let's go. Just come down here and... Look at that, that looks really nice. I think that's got to be the first uh, attempt at black and white and colour. And there we go. That picture's in colour, in the colour mode. And there's one in the camera's own black and white mode. Very nice. And that is a grayscaled version of the colour. The reservoirs above here, are they sailing? Let's have a look. Oh, no. No boats. So let's try a colour picture on the reservoir, nice and colour saturated blue, then a black and white version. So now let's try grayscaling the colour. It doesn't look any different to me. Am I missing something? It looks pretty much the same. This is so nice. It's good for the soul, isn't it? Getting out to the uh, outdoors, getting some fresh air. Particularly if you've been busy all week and maybe you're in an office or, or whatnot. I mean, what's better? I mean, look at this, look at this around me. Absolutely fantastic. If you've never been here, this is the Seven Valley. The Seven Valley Railway. We'll try and get a picture of that. Wow, look at this behind. What a fantastic old oak tree with gnarled bark and, and oh, look at it. It's stretching out everywhere. Let's see if this contrast makes a difference. Here's the colour, lots of contrasty bark and the black and white. Nice gnarly textures and the colour one, grey scaled looks the same that's a surprise it doesn't get much more of a, a sort of english country view than this green fields ducks on the river fantastic and just over here there's a pub so we start with the camera's native black and white mode here really nice image the color mode done in velvia and the and color gray scaled can anybody tell the difference and this is the Harbour Inn in Arley. They serve fantastic local cider. Cheers! Plastic glasses, that's Corona <laughs> for you. I think the X10 has really struggled a little bit with vlogging, showing its age a little bit there. It needs a, uh, an external microphone input to avoid the wind noise, which we've been suffering throughout recording. Oh, what a lovely Saturday afternoon. Time to walk back home now after a uh, couple of drinks here at the pub and uh, I was hoping to see the steam train but I haven't heard it at all. I heard one earlier but I haven't seen any going past and I suppose that's, uh, that's a victim of Covid. And look at this fantastic old iron bridge behind me. It would have been great if the steam trains had been running and that we could get a shot of one just full steam coming right the way over the top of that. So our last chance to see uh, the camera's pictures in colour mode and black and white mode. The colour ones have been desaturated to black and white and it'd be interesting to know your thoughts.